hi friends welcome to oracle tutorials in this video we will uh, discuss about join also we will see uh, some examples for inner join also natural join and uh, before coming to uh, join friends if you are watching our channel first time or uh, if you like to get these type of videos in future consider subscribing Huh. and one more thing uh, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video right we will come back to our join we will see what is join uh, oracle join is used to combine columns from two or more tables based on values of the related columns to execute a join oracle combines pairs of rows each containing one row from each table for which the join condition evaluates to true. To execute a join of three or more tables, Oracle first joins two of the tables based on the join conditions, comparing their columns, and then joins the result to another table based on the join conditions, containing columns of the join tables and the new table. Oracle continues this process until all tables are joined into the result. Okay, right. So here we will see what is inner join and then we will see uh, how to uh, implement this inner join uh, using some examples. Yes, the inner join keyword selects records that have matching values in both tables. Okay, here we can see the syntax for this inner join. Select then the number of columns required from table 1, inner join, table 2, on, then we have to give the condition, table 1 dot column name equals table 2 dot column name. Here, once we see the example, it will be more clear. And here we can see visual illustration of this uh, inner join. Here, the oracle inner join returns the blue shaded area. This is just a visual representation uh, for this oracle inner join. Uh, we will see some examples so that it will be more clear. We know that for implementing natural join or inner join, uh, we require a two table. We will create our first table named suppliers. Create table, table name we will give us suppliers. And here we are going to uh, create this table with uh, two columns. One is supplier ID, we will give us number. Then we will give supplier name, where character of 20. We will run this uh, query. And here we can see table created. Now we will insert some values into this uh, table suppliers. Here we are going to insert these four values. We will execute this query. And here we can see all rows inserted. We will verify our table suppliers. Select star from table name is uh, suppliers and we will run this query. Here we can see our table content, yes ID and yes name. Now we are going to create our second table named orders. create table table name we will give us orders here we are going to create three columns in this table orders order ID number then we will give supplier ID then order date Here we can see this SID, uh, same uh, from our uh, uh, supplier table. We will execute this query. Table created. Actually, when we created our first table, suppliers, 
uh, we have to create primary key for the SID and here we have to give a foreign key for this column anyways uh, we did not create all these constraints in our table we just created a simple tables and we are going to implement uh, inner join and natural join now we are going to insert some values into this table uh, orders we are going to insert these three rows we will execute this query it succeeded now we will verify our table orders select star from table name is orders here we can see our table here we can see our tables suppliers and orders here if you observe uh, both table has common uh, column name that is SID suppose we want to join these two tables uh, suppliers and orders and we have to get the columns in the result set uh, such as SID and yes name from the suppliers and order date from orders uh, so we will implement using our inner join we will try it select we are acquired suppliers SID from suppliers then we are acquired yes name from suppliers suppliers dot yes name because we are fetching the rows from both tables so we have to specify the table name then we are acquired a date from the table orders it's our date from suppliers we are going to do in our join with the table orders then we have to give it the condition using on supplies dot SID equals orders dot SID we will execute this query execute and here we can see the result here we can see the columns SID from suppliers yes name from suppliers and uh, odd date from orders here we can see our both table suppliers and orders and here we can see uh, the result for our inner join on both tables we can see a common column its SID and here in this result set we can see uh, the same uh, common values are returned here 101 yes it's uh, on both the table and here we can see the supplier name is uh, asus and here we can see order date 102 yes it's here and here we can see the date then the S name is HP 103 we can see on both table it's uh, Lenovo and here we can see the date okay we have seen the working of inner join now we will see in different ways we can implement this inner join this same query we are going to modify it here we are not going to use this uh, keyword uh, inner join so without using this uh, join keyword we can implement uh, we can join uh, two tables and what we are going to implement here is called equijoin and we are going to get the same result uh, as uh, uh, inner join okay we will see that select supplies dot SID supplies dot S name or as dot date from suppliers here we are going to uh, remove this inner join we are going to give suppliers comma second table name its orders and here instead of this on we are going to use where clause where supplies dot SID equals orders dot SID we will execute and we will see the result set execute and here we can see the same result 
even here we can filter our result set so here we can give and we are going to give a sub players dot sid in uh, we record only one not one and uh, one not three okay so we not record this one not two we filtered we'll execute it and here we can see the result now we will go back to our uh, first query it's here uh, with the inner join here what i'm going to do we are going to remove this uh, inner keyword we can see uh, we given only join so by default it's mean uh, inner join we will execute this query and we will see the result here we can see the same result now we will execute uh, this uh, same query using alias here we can see we specified uh, the columns uh, along with its uh, table name so we want to shorten this uh, name so we are going to give an alias for these uh, tables we will give that suppose uh, for this uh, table suppliers so we will give yes suppliers space yes okay then for this uh, orders uh, we will give o now here we can change this uh, table names yes dot sid it's a s dot s name it's a o dot o date from suppliers s join orders o on here we can give the alias for suppliers yes dot s id and this is o dot s id now we will execute this query and we will see the result here we can see it's working now we will see inner join with a where clause we will give a inner join or simply join uh, it doesn't matter so after on we are going to give the where clause where we are going to give yes dot s i d in uh, we can give one not one or one more we will give it's one not three And we will execute this query and here we can see the result 101 and 103 okay next we are going to implement this inner join uh, by using clause okay for that we can remove all these uh, aliases we'll give simply sid s name our date from suppliers inner join orders here we are going to use using uh, here we have to specify the column common column on both tables uh, suppliers and orders it's uh, sid we will execute this query and we will see the result here we can see it's working even we can give join also here instead of inner join it's the same like inner join it's working uh, now we will implement natural join uh, the actually the output uh, of uh, natural join is same like inner join and the only difference is that we cannot use uh, identifier i mean the alias uh, along with the columns and to make sure that uh, there will be a common column uh, on both tables okay we can uh, rewrite this uh, query select as id as name our date from suppliers here we are going to use natural join orders we are going to remove this line now we will execute this query Here we can see we get the same result of inner join. 
In this natural join also we can uh, filter our result set using where clause. We can see that we will give where SID will give note in 101 and we will execute this query. Here we can see the result. So friends, in this video we have seen join, also we have seen uh, examples on natural join uh, also in our join. Friends, all these uh, definitions, examples with output, everything will be added with our blog immediately. Next video we will see the other uh, joins and its examples. So stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.